is going first. And welcome back to the Journeyman with me, fucking plays on FM22. Today we're taking on Roma in both legs of the semi final of the Champions League. And the in between game is potentially where we're going to win the. Well, we should. We should win the league in the in between game against Burnley. Hope it was still managed by Sean Dyche, by the way. Just, you know, putting it out there. Sean Dyche, it's 18 years in charge of Burnley in this, this world. Just want to put that out there. Shouldn't have sacked him. Um, but yeah, taking on Roma. Hopefully, we continue our fantastic form that we've been in in the Champions League. Bar those two defeats in first legs. This time we're at home. But if you do want to enjoy this episode, do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now let's get into it. <laughs> In the intro, it is both legs of the game against the games against Roma, um, and we have the opportunity to beat Burnley, as I said, managed by Sean Dyche. Still eighteen years in charge, Sean Dyche. Uh, so that'll be the game we probably win the league. We could have won it against Liverpool, but we didn't because I think Arsenal. If we lose our remaining three games and Arsenal win all their games and outscore us by, I think it's 30 goals, then they win the league. So just, you know, the, we're, we're, we're pretty much guaranteed the title. It's just a formality at this stage. Since we here last, though, we did beat West Brom 1-0. It was a squeaky bum game. Not very convincing, shall we say. And we beat Liverpool 2-1. Um, Erling Haaland scoring their goal. Um, a very old Erling Haaland. Thir okay, never mind. He's only 30. Feels like he's older. Um, but yeah, we play R Man United and Leeds in our final two league games, which potentially could be... Abs mean absolutely nothing. Because as I said, Arsenal, we need to lose every game. Yeah, it's, you know, we're pretty much guaranteed the league at this stage because it is a 12-point gap to Arsenal who are the only ones that can stop us from winning the league. Because Man City or Man United are 11 points behind us with 9 points left on the table. Arsenal have one game in hand, 12 points behind. Like I said, it is almost a done deal. Um, Spurs, I think, are one game away from getting relegated. If they lose to West Ham, they are down. Bristol City won their last game, which was against Chelsea. So that's blown the... Uh, the battle for fourth wide open and because we beat Liverpool it pushed them back down to 10th so not great for them Everton also potentially on the verge of relegation here's hoping that imagine if Bristol City survived imagine if Bristol City survived relegation that would be unbelievable we do have a few injury issues for today's game Dylan Pintos still isn't fully recovered from his injury he's not fit to play so um alves alvarez is going to continue playing at left back um jude bellingham picked up an injury just before the liverpool game or was it yeah it was just i think it was just before the liverpool game uh he is still out and actually that is everything adiemi has an offer for of 60 million from barcelona so i'm going to leave him out of this game until we're confirmed that he is leaving because I don't want an injury to... Oh, that would it make a difference. I don't know. We're not... I don't want to find out. Um, Okoko hit 50 against Liverpool in the last game. So he is going to continue up front. Because he is playing an exceptional 8.22 average in his last five games. But we're going to be starting with Falcao and Gaul. Bateri, who is on the road to full fitness from his most recent injury. Um, Omobama Dele, Diaz and Alvarez as our back four. Valverde and Blas as our central midfielders. Douglas, Delaney and Simon behind Makoko. Um, I know Bateri isn't fully fit, but we have Poro on the bench. Poro had a very good game against Liverpool. Um, brought Bateri on for the final, like, 15 minutes. Just so he could have a bit of a run out. Um, we are favourites. Ruben Diaz is pretty pumped for the situation that we're facing into. I think Roma shouldn't be that hard we beat Juventus in the last round who were fourth in Syria Roma are fifth I can't see us 
struggling against them. And Makoko puts us into the lead with his 51st goal of the season. Get in. Makoko beautifully taken. B E A U T A B L. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this video should be coming out on Monday. So we'll get to see how Man City and Real Madrid get on in their second leg. Which, you know, if you missed the first leg, what a game. Oh, Makoko's true with his second of the game. 52nd of the season. Batari with the assist. A beautiful bit of... Just beautiful. Um, so yeah, I actually I watched the Man City Real Madrid first leg. And whoo, 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 it was fun. I enjoyed. Um, Man City. I don't know how they didn't win it by more. They absolutely dominated for so much of the game. Just could not score. Which was... It's all too real. It's all too real. Bar oh, Musa Barrow almost finds the back of the net. Falcao plucks it out of the air though. Uh, Courtois in that game. He was just not great. Not great at all now, was he? Oof. But then again, neither goalkeeper covered themselves in glory. Uh, Vinicius, Vin Vinicius Jr. for their uh, first goal was a beautiful run. John Stone's being taken off after 35 minutes. What was the point in even starting him? But less said about that, the better, I guess. Makoko, oh, tries to find, tries to thread the ball through for Saman. Um, I'm not sure if it's Saman, because I know if he was Spanish, it would be Saman. Um, but he isn't, he's French. So it's probably like, Simon. But like saying Saman. So we're just going to uh, keep passing the ball around. Here's Philippe Simon. Finds Makoko. Oh, he almost had his hat-trick. 30 minutes in. Could have had a hat-trick. Unfortunately, that was not the case. But we are going to probably win at halftime. 2-0 up. Um, we have been quite dominant in the whole le home legs um, of the Champions League that we've played. Because... 6-0 against Rangers and 4-0 against Juventus. Having lost 2-1 in the first legs, but they were away. Um, you're capable of even better. Blas isn't having a fantastic game. Um, I do have Santos and Haga on the bench. So Blas, who, Blas has been very streaky of late. Quite frustrating because he is a very, very good player. But he just... Doesn't seem to be able to put multiple games together this season. Mm. Okay, looks like Roma have decided that 2-0 is just about enough for, <laughs> for them. Uh, they've taken off Tammy Abraham. Uh, to be fair, I don't think we've actually seen Tammy on the ball. So, fair enough, I guess. Uh, we're going to take Blast off. We're going to bring on Haga. Um... Douglas is not having the fantastic, greatest of games. We're going to move Makoko onto the right. Bring on Castiel as our striker. Leave it at that for the time being. Um, Analdo Santos potentially is going to come on for Valverde. I could give uh, Rob Lachlan his debut, just for shits and giggles. Now they're telling me to take Makoko off now. Huh. Aww. Valverde and uh, Haga having a little bit of a play of the ball together. Omobamadele finds Makoko. Big ball forward. Oh, overhits it for Castiel. It's like he didn't want Castiel to score. Why would Makoko not want Castiel to score a goal? Hmm. It's almost like they're juking it out for a certain striker. Musa Barrow. Beautiful goal, has to be said. Uh, gave Falco no option opportunity okay we're going to uh, demand more um, and yeah we're going to make our final substitution with 10 minutes remaining 
I'm going to bring Ravella on for Simon. And just let him stretch the old legs a little bit. It's another Italian we've brought on. Okay, it was offside. I was like, did someone punch someone in the face or something? Because that just ended abru very abruptly. But we are coming to the end of the game. Five minutes remaining. Uh, it's interesting that when Roma went more cautious, they scored their... Oh, they've decided to throw two up top now. All right, Falcao, don't make a big boo-boo. Because he... Has Falcao grown a beard? Yeah, he doesn't have a beard here. But he has a beard there. Castiel's true. Castiel puts the cherry atop the cake. And it is 3-1. Get him. Beautiful. Looks like Falcao has like a full face beard. Of Delaney winning the ball. Putting it through. Castiel oh, beautifully, beautifully played. And we are 3-1 victors in the first leg. So not the usual dominance that we've grown accustomed to in the home leg of our Champions League games. But that's, that's fine. Um, it's probably going to be Bayern Munich in the final. Um, yeah, I set up a an actual testimonial match for uh, Ruben Diaz this time against Benfica. So... That is delightful for him. Uh, Makoko. Good job. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Champions League. Oh, you can see here. Bayern Munich beat Arsenal. 4-1 in their one. So as I said. Probably going to be Bayern Munich. Playing us in the final. Uh, they'll be going for their. Second in a row. We'll be going for our. First. Ever. Champions League. So. If that's not a great way to end the series, I don't know what is. But we will be back in just a second for the second leg against Roma. Where it's going to go and do just a cheeky little bit of business against Burnley. Hopefully we're going to win the league. So we'll be back in just a second. Right, fellas. So it is time for us to take on Roma in the second leg. We did win the league in the last match. But we didn't get a celebration. We didn't get a trophy or anything. Not 100% sure what happened. But it is confirmed. We are champions. Even though we got absolutely nothing to pop up. Like the game finished. Ended 2-2. Bit of a frustrating game to be fair. Uh, we were dominant. And then all of a sudden. Burnley just decided to start playing really well. In the final five minutes or so. Um, Cujo did score an own goal. Which you know not ideal. Hector Lopez gave away a penalty. Also not ideal. But for this game, we are making a few changes. Uh, Poro is starting instead of Bateri. I think that's the only change from the first leg. We have made multiple changes from the game against Burnley. Because I did want to rest some of the players. So this could be our ticket to the final. Uh, I think Roma are having a bit of a time in the league because they dropped to sixth I think so they're not having the best of times we did just draw against Burnley but Spurs did get relegated so that could have been the job that I took I decided against it before we took the job at Atalanta and uh, yeah I think either way we were in for a bad time because Atalanta wasn't a great time, as you might remember if you were watching that part of this series. And we could have been at relegation favourites. Oh, Valverde couldn't quite get the ball over the line. Um, to be fair, Steven Gerrard did a very good job of keeping Spurs in the division for that extra season. But he ended up leaving for uh, Liverpool. Got sacked, so... It's fair to say things didn't go according to plan. Delaney, speaking of things going according to plan, Delaney puts the ball in the back of the net. It is 4-1 on aggregate in the 18th minute. Uh, Christian Douglas doing very well defensively. Makoko taking the ball down, putting Delaney through. It's like he's the playmaker and 
Delaney is an actual footballer who can score goals. Which, to be fair, he has scored 11 this season. Don't give him enough credit, I don't think. Uh, he is nailed on starter for my Ireland squad. But Tammy Abraham has only scored 10 this season. It's uh, back to a 4-2, or, yeah, 4-2 on aggregate. One all on the night. I take it. Someone's having a very quiet night. Lopez is having a poor game. Maybe Ruben Diaz should have started. Hector Lopez has been a very, very good addition to the team. Um, but tonight it seems like he's not fully involved. Uh, Poro tries to put Makoko through but couldn't. And now Roma are on the break. Lopez comfortably passed back to Falcao but I feel like there's a mistake on our part still to come Musa gets it out to Henrique Oma Bombadele finds Delaney Simon uh, I think Makoko was offside and that's why he just kind of ran near the ball but didn't touch it uh, keeps the move going Alvarez puts it across Delaney puts it in the back of the net it is 2-1 get in this is I know the referee is like, mmm, 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 but it's a goal. Yeah, boy. 2 1 up on the night. 5 2 on aggregate. And uh, Simon is still having a very poor game. I'm not sure who they have playing at right back, but they seem to be keeping Simon very quiet. Uh, Christian Douglas. Oh, he's just absolutely done his man. Um, all right, the game against Burnley. I stared at Marvin Gerrard. And uh, he got sent off. So that didn't help the whole situation. We were two up at the time. Blast finds Douglas. Musa just pushes it over. That would have been a great goal. Unfortunately, it was not to be. Christian Douglas with the corner. Lopez couldn't get there ahead of a Roma player. Musa Barrow. Musa Barrow is true. But interesting pass. Uh, we have, I think, Ravella. Was either Ravella or Adiemi? I can't remember which one of the two I put on the bench. Pretty sure it was Ravella. If someone actually managed to get a touch on the ball though. Could this be the start or something? It's probably probably not going to be. I think someone probably isn't. Oh, Alvarez beautifully taken. Oma Bamadele finds Blas. Christian Douglas passes it to Poro. Puts Makoko through. Makoko couldn't get past Musa. Uh, Makoko actually didn't start the game against Burnley either so I think that might have been our problem I uh, should have probably started him I did bring him on but he didn't really have that much of a of an influence on the game Um, yeah we have Ravella on the bench so we can bring Ravella on if and when we need to I'll give someone a little way longer I'm going to give the lads a bit of praise just you know we're, we're doing fine keep an eye on someone and Lopez they're the two that are Having the worst of times. The fact that Tammy Abraham's only scored 10 goals this season. Is probably why Roma are 6th in the league. Speaking of the devil. Went two footed lunging for the back of Lopez. And gets away with it. Simon does beat his man. Can't beat the defender. All he had to do was just dink it over him. But instead, nah. Nah. They've taken off moves up Barrow. Interesting. Interesting. That they've made two substitutions before the hour. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to take Simon off because he has been just god awful. Inverted winger. Uh, I'm going to take Blast off for Haga because I don't want to risk Bellingham just yet. Uh, we confirmed those changes. Haga scored an absolute peach. Of a goal against Burnley. Hopefully he can. Get involved in today's game. Hector Lopez after complaining. Is up to a 7 now. So it seems he's. Decided he wants to. Be good at football. Again. Uh, Douglas. Finds Lopez. Back in the net. Second goal of the season. Third of the match. 6-2 on aggregate. It is officially. Done. 15-ish. 16 minutes left plus whatever they add on I think it's fair to say we've won this game uh, and I'm going to bring on 
Castiel moves Makoko out to the right. Castiel is going to move up front. Let's go. So this ended up being a relatively comfortable journey to the Champions League final. Makoko heads just over. Still have the bones 10, min 10 minutes plus left. We've had, we've controlled this match. 19 shots, 10 on target, a 2.31 XG to Roma's 7 shots and 4 on target. Was it a 0.56 XG? 0.88 XG now. Oh, Musso makes a mistake and Castiel hits the crossbar. What a goal that could have been. It could have been. Unfortunately, not to be, but it doesn't matter. Two minutes left. Roma need to score four. I don't think they're going to score four. It's just, just putting it out there. Castiel takes the ball. Dings the keeper. <gasps> don't you <have. laughs> What a goal. <clears throat> Hag at the architect. We're going we're right, we're gonna to have to watch this one. Musso. Why is Musso so far out of his goal? Alvarez gets to Haga. Castiel takes just a couple of touches. Dinks the goalkeeper. Musso. Just, it was never getting there. 4 1 on the night, 7 2 on aggregate. Well done, lads. We're into the final. That was, oh, mm, spectacular. So, for the next episode, you're going to find out who we are playing in the final of the Champions League. We've been awarded a bunch of money, qualified for the Club World Cup. But I think that's not for another two years yeah it's another two and a bit years before that which is something we've also never won uh potentially could win that but i don't think we're going to be here long enough to find out uh brazil and spain manager over there to watch players play football as you do only four players don't support us um castiel and haga two guys who came together for that last goal but that is fantastic. We're into the final. It's going to be Bayern Munich or Arsenal. As I said, Bayern Munich 4-1 up from the first leg. And Spurs relegated. Uh, Everton, I think, was it Everton won the last their last game? No, they lost to Man United. I feel like, oh, okay, never mind. We did have a round of games here. Uh, Everton drew with Norwich. That's pulled them up because West Brom lost. Yeah, two Spurs. Interesting. Arsenal also losing to Chelsea no that is months ago I could have just clicked on Everton at this stage we're only in January come on <gasps> May what's this oh this is so far back okay matches Or Bristol City beat Newcastle. Everton beat Everton did beat Man United. Yeah, Everton beat Man United. Wool or West Brom drew with Stoke. Spurs lost to West Ham. Um, Arsenal also beat Leeds. So everything is looking pretty okay for us. As you can see, eighty sixth minute and the ninety third minute they scored a penalty. Gerard got sent off in the fifty eighth. Not ideal, but everything is fine. So the next episode will be the. Champions League final and you'll find out because the thumbnail will show you whomst we are playing so if you have enjoyed this episode do make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe which team you think we're going to be taking on in the final and also comment on what you think the scoreline is going to be um, I don't actually know where we're playing the Champions League final this year where is it Jordan Johan Cruyff Arena so like, comment, subscribe, share with all your friends, and I will catch you in the next one.